Hello, welcome to course Introduction to Computers. I am Dr. Mazhar Ali Dutio. Uh, today we will discuss uh, input devices. This is our third lecture on the course Introduction to Computers. In computing, an input device is a piece of equipment used to provide data and control signals to an uh, information processing system such as a computer or information appliance. Examples of input devices include keyboard, mouse, scanners, digital cameras, joysticks, microphones, and etc. So, all types of input devices will be discussed in today's lecture. Keyboard is a human interface device which is represented as a layout of buttons. Each button or key can be used to either input a character, a symbol, or a number to a computer or to call upon a particular function of the computer. So, these all things act as a main text entry interface for uh, most users. Traditional keyboards use spring-based buttons, though newer variations imply virtual keys or even projected keyboards. A keyboard is a basically like a typewriter device or like the electronic typewriter device which is used to write different documents or stories or etc. So it is a composed of a matrix of switches. If we look at the keyboard, we will uh, see it is a actual and a real input device because we input the all the data through, uh, especially the characters, numbers, symbols through the keyboard. Therefore, a computer keyboard is one of the primary input devices used with the computer. It is a similar to an electronic um, or electric typewriter, uh, which is not used commonly nowadays, but uh, before the year 2000, the typewriter uh, was commonly used by different organizations, even the public, and it was kept in the homes as well to write applications and other things. But computer systems replace the typewriter, so therefore now people are using the computer machines with the keyboard and other input devices. So, a computer keyboard is considered an input device because it only sends data to a computer and it does not receive any information back. A keyboard is a, a composed of buttons that create vectors, numbers and symbols as well as perform other functions. So, the keyboard is the most common in input device of the era. Uh, for different types of the computer machines that may be the desktop computer, that may be the uh, smartphones, that may be the tablets, paid and other types of the computer machines. Here when we uh, use the word machine means the computer machine because we discuss the input devices of the computer machines. Today, most desktop computers keyboards connect to the computer using either the USB or Bluetooth for wireless communication. But dear student, before uh, this type of the keyboards, uh, the uh, keyboards were uh, connected with the computers uh, by PS2 or serial ports or AT uh, with the DIN 5, the, the connector with the 5 pins. So, the old keyboards were same, but the method of the connectivity was the different as now you are using the USB based computer keyboards or wireless based computer keyboards to connect with the different types of the computer machines. But five to ten years before these type of the keyboards were different, they were using card or cables having and the different type of the connector with the pins and so on. So, how a computer keyboard works? When we type any character, symbol or number on the computer keyboard, the keyboard controller detects key press, what user has pressed. 
and controller sends a code to the CPU. Means what user has placed on the computer keyboard, that placing generate a code, and that code is sent to CPU by the uh, controller of the. Uh, so uh, the code represents the key placed by the user. The controller notifies the operating system by send uh, by processing the code which is sent by the uh, keyboard controller. Operating system responds to the user in form of the output and definitely controller repeats the data if held again or if user place another keys then again this process will happen. Laptop keyboards are also used to input the data to the laptops. A laptop keyboard is arranged differently than a desktop keyboard to accommodate the laptop's uh, narrower uh, footprint. Most laptop keyboards are made similar by placing the keys closer and by including a function key. Function keys shown here is a Fn. The function key is used in conjunction with the other keys to perform a special functions. So there are different um, functions um, and, uh, available on the keyboard that is uh, shown in a different ways like the F1, F2, tilde F12 or the up, down and end, home and there are different types of the functions available on the keyboard. For example, pressing the function key and the up or down arrow on the keyboard shown below increase and decrease the screen brightness if you use uh, the function of the brightness if you will press uh, the up it will increase the screen and if uh, you will press the uh, press it down then it will decrease the brightness of the screen so uh, many laptops keyboards omit the numeric keyboards to save space as well several uh, laptops give you the keyboard with the uh, alphabet and numbers as functions but uh, they will not give you the separate numerical board but some laptops give you the uh, numerical board separately like the Dell and others as well so uh, there are different types of the keyboards some some keyboards are uh, num uh, alphabetical some keyboards are alphanumerical some keyboards are alphabetic uh, alphanumerical as well as along with the symbols as well Smartphones and tablets are also using the keyboard uh, as a input devices. So today's smartphones and tablets do not come with a physical keyboard like the laptops and the desktop computers. But they, uh, these devices utilize a thumb keyboard or an on-screen keyboard uh, to type uh, messages and enter uh, text into various fields. Laptops are also using the onboard keyboard, uh, keyboard as well. If you don't want to use the physical physical keyboard then even you may uh, open the on screen keyboard to input the characters or numbers or symbols by touching the screen but uh, in the physical keyboards we place the keys or number keys for alphabets or numbers or for symbols so this is the difference between the <coughs> soft keyboard and uh, hard keyboard in soft keyboard we touch the screen for <coughs> any alphabet or number or symbol. Pointing devices uh, are basically input devices. Therefore, uh, a pointing device uh, is the input device of a, any any input device of a pointing device. Uh, maybe the direct or uh, indirect. Uh, with the direct input, the input space uh, coincides with the display space that is the uh, pointing is uh, done in the space where visual feedback or the pointer appears it means uh, in the direct uh, input or direct pointing devices we uh, focus the destination where we click or where we reach through moving the uh, mouse and uh, even uh, the uh, the example of the direct uh, keyboards like the touch screen and the light pans uh, definitely these all are involved in the direct input uh, but uh, in direct input uh, maybe absolute or uh, relative 
uh, for example, digitizing graphics tablets that do not have an uh, embedded screen uh, involved in, in direct input and sense absolute positions and are often run in absolute input mode, but they may also be uh, set up to simulate a relative input uh, mode like that of a touchpad. So a mouse uh, is a basically a computer mouse is a handheld pointing device that detects two dimensional motion relative to surface. This motion is a typically translated into the motion of pointer on a display which allows a smooth control of the graphical user interface of a computer. The first public demonstration of a mouse controlling a computer system was uh, in 1968. Modern mouse often have optical sensors that have uh, no moving parts. Light shown onto mouse speed, reflection determines uh, speed and direction means uh, when we move the mouse to point out any point that may be the folder, that may be the toast text, that may be any function, that may be the menus and so on for any purpose when we uh, move the <coughs> mouse to point then light omens, light omens from the mouse and, and mouse <coughs> detect the detection, detect the location and the speed on the reflection of the that light. That where is the reflection of the light and it moves there to reach the destination and it ends when it uh, reaches the destination. So direction depends on the reflection of the lights or mouse determine the directions and the speed on the basis of the reflection of the light which, uh, which is uh, omitted by the uh, mouse. So the old mouses were uh, wired uh, and uh, those, those mouses were connected with the uh, computers uh, through the uh, wire or cable or card. But modern mouse uh, or mice are cordless. Uh, these mouses are modern mouses uh, relying on uh, short wave radio communication with the connected system. These mouses do not use any cord or any cable to connect with the computers or type of the computers that may be the desktops, that may be the laptops and so on. They don't need any cable but they, <coughs> the, uh, uh, they are connected wireless. Uh, through the computers using different uh, communication models. The mechanical mouse or the very old mouse uh, was using the rubber ball to determine the direction and the speed of the mouse. There was a rubber uh, inside the mouse that moves uh, according to the direction and to reach the object. Object means anything home user want to point out. The ball often uh, requires screening beta because on the pay, when it moves on the paid, so it gets some dirty. So it needs uh, screening time to time to move properly from one point to another point and detect the objects. <coughs> uh, mouse is interacted uh, when we uh, interact uh, with the mouse or when we interact or uh, point out the uh, objects on the desktop or at any place or any software or menus and so on. So definitely we use mouse to reach the destination. So the uh, mouse performs some actions. Those actions are, uh, those actions uh, involve pointing to an object. So when we click or select any object, we move the mouse pointer to uh, that object and click and uh, for example uh, I want to drag a folder from one point to another point I move the mouse point to folder and press uh, uh, that folder and, and then hold and drag that uh, folder to the required place where I want and then release the um, pressing and when I release the pressing from the mouse then mouse will drop the object means the folder which I wanted to uh, take from one place to put it another place. Uh, in mouse there are two buttons so one is um, uh, on the right side and second is on the left side. So the right side button most of you are the by default it shows the menus. When we press the <coughs> right side of uh, right button of the mouse, it will show you the menus 
or some options which you want to press but the website by default is used for uh, action what type of action you want to deliver for example i used uh, left button to drag the folder from one place to another place i press the left side and uh, drag that folder from one place to another place however you may change these settings as well means you may use the left side for menus and right side for the uh, your actions but mostly we are right hand so we use by default the left side for the actions and the right side for menus <coughs> uh, so definitely uh, there are some variants of the mouse like the trackpad uh, it's the stationary pointing device and for example if you look at the left type uh, it is a small plastic rectangle and uh, uh, like the finger moves across the pad where you move the mouse point from one place to another place you move your finger mostly the pointing finger of the right hand and pointer moves with the pointer means where you point to move the pointer the pointer moves to the pointer means if you point a pointer move with your pointer um, the finger the pointer moves accordingly if you move on the left side the pointer will move on the left side if up then up and if you will move the pointer down then it will move to down and if you will move it to the right side then the pointer definitely move to the right side and in the circle and so on where you want the pointer will move there so definitely this type of the uh, pointing a uh, mouse uh, is a very popular on the laptop. There are some uh, joysticks, so little joystick on the keyboard, if you look at the little joystick, it moves pointer by moving the joystick. Now you may use it for different purposes, different jobs on the laptop. So it facilitates you to where you want to move your joystick, on which side. So there, there is a no fixed side that you may go only up or left or right or the down but in the triangles in different ways you may use this uh, little joystick on and that is available on the keyboard uh, to move the pointer for, for, to different destinations. <clears throat> Ergonomics, uh, uh, sometimes uh, it is also the human factors, is the scientific uh, discipline uh, concerned with the understanding of the interactions among and uh, other elements of systems and the uh, professions that applies theory, principles, data and methods to design in order to optimize human well-being and uh, overall system performance. So, ergonomics is a very important uh, it is a study of the human and uh, the computer machines tools interaction. <coughs> it's concerned with the physical interaction. For example, it uh, concerned with the keyboard especially that how you use the keyboard uh, when you are typing some materials if you will use the keyboard in the, uh, incorrectly definitely it will affect on your health therefore uh, um, ergonomics discusses and provide you solutions uh, to save yourself it, uh, it attains to improve safety and comfort it, therefore that when you use the keyboard you uh, remain safe and comfort as well so there are some directions uh, which are provided by the ergonomics uh, it um, make an environment between the human and computer machines that how humans should uh, interact with the computer not only by using only the uh, keyboards but mouse and how will you should use the screen and so on what type of the distance you should um, generate and what should be your posture of the hands arms and body when you use the computer if you will uh, not use computer properly then definitely you will be affected by different diseases as well which will affect on your health so there are different things which affect on you if you will not use the computer properly one is a repetitive strain injury a repetitive strain injury mostly pronounced as rsi by the uh, 
medical persons or the computer persons, it is a uh, gradual uh, build up of uh, damage to muscle, tendon, and uh, nerves from repeated uh, motions. RSI uh, is a common and uh, may be caused by uh, different uh, types of uh, activities including using a computer mouse typing uh, to use a screen very close and etc so uh, if you will use uh, not uh, proper the computer machine with proper guidelines definitely you will caused by continuous uh, misuse of the uh, uh, caused by different uh, uh, continuous misuse of the body uh, definitely if you will uh, caused by these things then you will affected by different diseases so many professions suffer from uh, uh, rsi professionals <clears throat> or the especially the computer operators who are mostly using the computer keyboards <clears throat> for different uh, typing works in publishing houses or in uh, government offices non-government offices away to home and so on so these uh, type of the things uh, affect the computer because you use the computer without proper guidance your post above the hands your post above the bodies and uh, the distance between the screen and the uh, eyes are not uh, not proper so there are uh, one uh, different diseases occur so like the repeated strain injury uh, like the carpal tunnel syndrome the carpal uh, tunnel syndrome is a common condition uh, that causes pain, uh, numbness, and uh, tingling in the hand and arm. The conditions occur when one of the major nerves to uh, the hand, the medium nerve, is squeezed or squeezed or compressed as it travels through the wrist. Because when we do not maintain our posture and we down the hand to the keyboard, our, the keyboard is below our, our hand level, therefore we down the hand or our fingers to press the keys or sometimes keyboard is up, then the uh, hand does not maintain a level at the wrist level but it goes up then it generates some problems and which i told you that the repeated strain injury the carpal tunnel syndrome carpal tunnel is a passage in the wrist basically because hand ups or downs it holds nerves and tendons as well when you down the wrist for a long time definitely the nerves will be hold and if you are using the uh, uh, using keyboard for a long time then the prolonged keyboarding as well as the tendons uh, as well which will uh, generate different diseases or make you the disabled as well so office uh, there are some suggestions for the uh, people who are mostly using the keyboards their chair should be proper and adjustable the arms uh, arm rest should be proper uh, they, they must be uh, with the chair and the height back height of the chair should be also high that we uh, may raise the head as well and uh, if there will not be arm rest then where we will put our uh, arms though so when you can use the computer for typing you must select a chair with the proper, proper height and arm rest and there must be the backup support otherwise you will suffer from the uh, back pain if you will uh, if you will not uh, use the back support then definitely you will suffer from the back pain in the usa mostly people are suffering from the back pain because of not sitting properly on the chairs so you must use chairs properly with the proper uh, seating proper arm raised and proper height and your uh, chair seating must be adjusted in accordance with the keyboard setting means your keyboard should be at the level of your hand not up or down if it will be up or down then definitely your wrist will not be maintained and different disease uh, problems will be generated so uh, when you use the keyboard there must be a keyboard tray 
or desk where you put the keyboard it must be don't put uh, keyboard direct at the table which is uh, at the high level than you have the seating arrangement so there must be a keyboard train keep hands at the keyboard height if keyboard height is uh, over or down then definitely your wrist will not be uh, relaxed so as well as place the monitor at eye level if it is up and down then definitely it will trouble your neck as well and if it is near to your eyes then it will the raises will affect your eyes and your uh, definitely you will go to uh, blindness or other things so these are the things which uh, the computer user must know and ergonomics ergonomics tell you these things it make the human interaction proper with the computers that how human interacts with the computer du during the working du working on with the different uh, input devices or for example you are watching movies or other things or other documents there must be the distance between the monitor and your eyes so how to avoid rsi sit up straight always when you sit on the chair you must be straight have a padded wrist support if you don't have padded wrist support then your wrist will must suffer and uh, there may be a different types of the physical problems with your wrist keep your arms straight and at arm rests don't uh, lose your arms and uh, uh, during the usage of keyboards when you use the keyboard your uh, arm is, uh, arms should be at the arm rest use the keyboard properly and to take frequent breaks don't use continuously for hours no after 15 minutes or 30 minutes you must take break uh, to move your hands to move your head to exercise your neck to exercise your eyes take a breath and so on that you remain fresh otherwise there may be different problems with the you with you or users of the uh, computer so uh, after the keyboard and the mouse there are different other types of the input devices as well like the pen based input we use pen uh, for input and pointing so there are two uh, usage of the pen or two benefits of the pen in the traditional keyboard and uh, mouse we use the mouse separately and uh, we use the keyboard <coughs> separately but and the pen based input we use pen uh, we may use pen for uh, key, uh, writing purpose and for pointing purpose so pen is uh, used for tablet pcs pda uh, pen is uh, used to write the data even pen is uh, used as a point of devices even uh, if uh, you are selecting the key keys from the uh, on the screen keyboard you may use pen but if you want to write uh, letters or words or sentences Uh, with uh, your own hand writing you may use pen for that purpose as well so if you write something or email something to write with your own pen the computer will recognize your hand writing so it is also a, another benefit uh, of this input device <coughs> the touch screens are also input devices like the uh, smartphones like the atm machines uh, tablets uh, and other touch screens are source of the input so what happened in touch screen the sensors determine where your finger point is means it the function and the uh, algorithm is the same to input the data and to process the data and to give you the output when you touch any object on the screen uh, on for example on the screen of mobile smartphone or for on the tablets or on the uh, atm machines when you press anything that uh, you are pressing uh, is to generate a code and that code is uh, sent to cpu by the uh, input controller and the cpu process that uh, code and sent to uh, operating system to give you the output and when you after pressing when you uh, see the result that is basically the output that is given by the cpu to 
आउटपुट सॉरी ऑपरेटिंग मशीन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम शो दैट आउटपुट ऑन द स्क्रीन सो सेंसर क्रिएट बेसिकली इन एक्स एंड वाई कोऑर्डिनेट्स यूजुअली प्रेजेंट्स ए मेन्यू टू यूजर्स एज वेल बिकॉज द ओल्ड एटीएम मशीन्स एंड द नॉन टच स्क्रीन मोबाइल फोन्स गिव यू द मेन्यू बट द न्यू न्यू वंस एटीएम मशीन्स गिव यू द टच बेस्ड स्क्रीन्स एंड द स्मार्टफोन एज वेल गिव यू द टच बेस्ड स्क्रीन्स टू इनपुट योर uh input to what you want to input or place anything what you want for example in the smartphone you just press the folder that will open or place any game or place a call or so on or video and same happen with the atm machines and same uh, same happen with the touch screens of the laptop and so on so it is also input device uh <clears throat> gaming controllers are also input device so a game or gaming controller is a, an input device uh, used with video games or entertainment systems to provide input to a video game typically to control an object or character in the game game controllers have uh, have been designed and improved over the years to be uh to as uh, user friendly as possible because day to day game controllers are uh, improving that user may uh, remain easy and it uh, use the uh, these controllers in a very easy way before uh, the, the uh, these uh, uh, game controllers old ones were uh, difficult to use but now these are the touch system and the joysticks even are very easy so uh, game controllers enhancing the gaming experience as well and it um, these provide uh, you custom input means uh, when you play the game the these type of the uh, input devices or controllers uh, provide you a very easy environment and even the modern controllers offer feedback that how these uh, game controllers are how these input devices are like the joystick or game pad how game pad is it is is it easy or not and how is a joystick is it easy in moving or no, not easy so it get you the feedback that they may improve it in a more proper ways and make these controllers more easy and soft as well optical uh, input devices uh, are commonly using as well uh, these allows the computer to see input that what type of input is uh, coming the barcode reader is uh, one of the optical input devices a barcode uh, reader is a uh, basically barcode scanner it is an optical scanner that can read printed barcodes and uh, then decode the the data contained in the barcode and send the data to computer the computers so <clears throat> the barcode basically as i told you that uh, this barcode converts the barcodes to numbers in form of the upc now what is upc upc is a basically universal uh, um, product code universal product code uh, it is a barcode symbology that is widely used all over the world it is a consists of 12 numeric uh, uh, digits that are uniquely assigned to each trade item so computer find number in a <coughs> database when they read the barcode they find that is that uh, number is available in the database so that will confirm that either this product is of this shop or this industry or this organization or not and even the barcode by pressing the barcode it will tell you the what how much amount is available of uh, these products in our uh, stock so uh, how barcode work it works by reflecting the light barcode generates or emits out the light when the light uh, is omitted from the barcode uh, barcode it put on the number and it detects the number so amount of reflected light indicates the number that uh, what type of the uh, number is available on the barcode barcode provide you the uh, identity of uh, product and other parts of the product as well
another uh, uh, optical input device uh, is the image scanners image scanners uh, are commonly used in offices uh, at different shops uh, of the printing and sometimes some homes as well they are using the uh, image scanners image scanners converts the printed media into electronic media means you have a printed form if image photo or uh, hand written documents there uh, in your hand or in hard form and you want to take those uh, hard forms into a soft forms so you scan those documents or photos or images or other things so definitely the scanners reflects the light off of the image and the sensors read the intensity and filters determine color that what color of the document is there or how many colors are available in the document those uh, are the uh, determined by the scanners and sensor read intensity that uh, what type of the text is available in the document and it happens of it uh, this process is done by the reflection of the light uh, optical recognition ocr is also type of the optical input device the OCR is the electronic uh, conversion of images of typed handwritten or uh, printed text into machines encoded text whether uh, from a scanner document, a photo of a document, a scene, scene photo for example, the text or signs or billboards in a landscape photos. So uh, uh, OCR is a common method of uh, digitizing printed text so that they can be electronically edited, searched, stored, more uh, compactly displayed online and used in the machine process such as the cognitive computing, machine translation, text to speech and etc. So the OCRs really are very important input devices of the computer machine. The OCRs uh, uh, OCR converts the skin text into editable text, for example. Uh, we have the printed text, but um, it is not available on the hard copy. Especially, the, we do have a lot of old books which are not available in the uh, soft copy. So, we may uh, convert uh, those hard, uh, book, hard copy books into the soft copies by using the OCRs. OCR recognizes each letter. Therefore, it scans each letter. Letters are compared to non letters. Based match is entered into documents. Nowadays, different uh, uh, language experts or computer technologists are developing the programs on basis of the OCR for different languages that all languages of the world uh, or, the, or the data of all languages may be converted into the soft copy. However, the result is not 100% accurately. For English, it gives you 100% accuracy, but for the other languages, it does not give you the accuracy of 100%. Even the, in the English, if the uh, pages are not clear, then it will not give you the accuracy as 100%. Anyway, it is a very much uh, important input device which solve your problems if it give you 80 or 90 percentage accuracy means you have 80 or 90 percentage work uh, as done now you have to done only 10 or 20 percentage so the purpose of ocr to convert the uh, printed or handwritten work into uh, soft copy Audio individual, uh, audio visual input devices are also type of the input devices. Uh, for example, the microphones commonly called it the mic. Mic is also input devices which is uh, used for different purposes. A mic is also, uh, uh, we commonly call it the mic. It is a device that converts sound into an uh, electrical signal. Microphones or mics are used in many applications such as telephones, public address systems, uh, public events, concerts or musical concerts, audio recording, radio or TV programs, broadcasting, uh, speech recognition and several other functions. We may use the mic for 
different functions which are mentioned here. So it recognizes the speech. For example, I am delivering my lecture definitely through the mic. Mic recognize my speech, my voice, and the input controller generate the code and send this code to the CPU and CPU after necessary processing send it to the operating system and operating system send it to you as the output same is my sound is I am inputting same you getting in uh, the output form so mic is a basically a speech recognition system that is used for different purpose it understand the human speech it understand the other voices uh, of the birds of the environment or anything for example you place anything that that generate the voice and if mic is there then mic will recognize that voice so it allows it allows the dictation or control of a computer it matches a spoken sound to known for, uh, for phonemes. So for example, what, are you, what are my phonemes? What I am generating the phonemes? That come to you in same form. With even the pitch of my sound uh, will remain same. Stress of uh, my sound or stress. For example, I am stressing some words, some characters. It will come to you in same form. So, mic is an uh, important source of input which is used for different purposes. It input the sound, then convert into electrical signals and send to the uh, CPU and CPU after some necessary processing sent to you as a output. It my behalf, it is the input and it your behalf, my sound is the output. So, audiovisual input devices also uh, the musical instruments nowadays musical instruments are connected with the computer systems but before this the traditional musical instruments were not uh, connected with the computer systems therefore the result of the uh, traditional musical instruments and the modern instrument uh, computerized instruments are different the traditional instruments were uh, providing you music or sound is it what was the original but the <coughs> these uh, modern instruments uh, are connected with computers and give you uh, result different because uh, you may modify the pitch and other things so for this purpose musical instrument digital interface is used which is commonly called MIDI or MIDI so MIDI or MIDI uh, it is a technical standard that describe a communication protocol, uh, digital interface and uh, electrical uh, connectors that connects a wide variety of electronic musical instruments, even the computers and uh, related audio devices for playing, editing and uh, recording music. Uh, you may connect your piano, guitar, violin and other type of the musical instrument to computer uh, through the musical instrument digital interface. So this is also type of the input because you input your musical sounds to the computer machine and then it goes to the other. The, for example, the nowadays television, radio stations and other uh, types of the musical houses using the computer machines and using the MIDI or the musical instrument digital interface for connecting the musical instruments. Another uh, digital uh, input device is a uh, digital camera which is uh, really very interesting in modern era. Now the computer uh, camera is available in a different files. For example, in the digital cameras, even the mobile phones are providing you facilities of very good uh, digital cameras. A digital camera captures photographs uh, digitally or electronically. Many more cameras are now incorporated into mobile devices or into smartphones, which can, among uh, many other purposes. So, you, uh, user use their cameras to initiate uh, live video te uh, telephony 
and uh, upload uh, images or imagery to others. However, high-end, high-definition and uh, uh, high definition dedicated cameras are still commonly used by professionals and you uh, uh, who uh, desire to take higher quality of uh, photographs. So both cameras are using the common people are using the digital cameras and the professionals are using their own digital high def uh, de dedicated cameras uh, with high definitions. So uh, these digital cameras capture images through the cameras or through the mobile phones or through the laptops. For example, nowadays you, if you see people come live on different uh, sources of the social media and record their lectures, record their talks uh, and um, they take the photos and videos electronically. The major benefit of these cameras, they don't need any film as it was required in the traditional cameras. We purchase the film from the Photoshop and uh, take the photos. But these digital cameras does not use the uh, films. However, they used some um, a memory card to store the photos in digital form. Uh, they use different forms like the JPG, MPG and so on. So memory card stores those images which are taken by the digital cameras uh, in, in the mobile, through the mobile phones or through the digital cameras. Even the, uh, these digital cameras are used in different professions, uh, different organizations, uh, and people at home they use. Now the photography is a very uh, interesting job. Before these cameras, people were used to go to the uh, photography shops and uh, you took the photos there. Um, but now everyone can take their photo, even the children can take photos, uh, other person can take photos and make videos at any time without any expenses. They, they may use their mobile phones, they may use their computer laptops and other devices like the tablets and so on. So, thank you very much uh, for uh, watching my videos, listening my lecture. Uh, I tried to describe the input devices, the function of input devices, the purpose of input devices, why they are uh, used, how much they are useful. Hope uh, you will like uh, my this video. Thank you very much.